Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with one of the biggest updates ever coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is honestly going to be the most exciting thing that we have ever talked about here on the channel, and I think you guys are going to be pretty excited as well. So if you guys missed it, there was recently an announcement this morning about the brand new map and brand new update coming to the Hunter, and it is a big one. And believe me, this may be the first update in a long time where the brand new map is actually not the star of the show. The brand new map just paved way for everything else that is going to be added in this update. There is actually so much exciting stuff to go over, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now the first thing that is going to be coming with this update, and believe me, this is actually not even close to being the biggest addition to the game, we are going to get a brand new map called New England Mountains. This reserve unfortunately will not have any new species, but there's a very good reason for that. While this map may only have 15 species that we have previously seen on other reserves, including stuff like the gray fox, the red fox, the coyote, the bobcat, the raccoon, the bobwhite quail, the pheasant, moose, black bear, white-tailed deer, eastern turkey, eastern cottontail, ringneck pheasant, if I haven't mentioned that already, the green-winged teal, which from what I can tell is going to be a brand new species, as well as the golden eye, and I believe I got all of them there, but I may have missed one or two. Uh, if I did end up missing one, you guys will probably hear me talk about it later in the video if I remember. Now, they didn't really show us too much about the brand new map or the uh, species on it. However, there is a lot of stuff that has been added with this update that is going to really steal the show away from this map. And the first of those things is that finally, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X will be getting 60 FPS. They have done a massive amount of bug fixing as well as performance updates to give the smoothest experience possible on the current generation consoles as they were struggling to get 60 FPS in a lot of cases. So uh, this is really awesome to hear everybody that plays on the current consoles is going to finally be getting 60 FPS. But we are just getting started. We also have a brand new gun added to the game that is going to be an inline muzzle loader. We are finally going to get a modern muzzle loader, and it looks pretty cool. I really like the way that it looks. I think it's going to be a fun gun to use. I personally don't use muzzle loaders too much, so most likely I won't end up using it a lot, but it'll still be a cool thing to have for the people that love those types of guns. But believe me, those are by far the least exciting of all the new additions coming to the game because we've got some stuff that people have been asking for for a very, very, very long time. And the first one that we're gonna go over is brand new species being added to old maps. Well, not new species, but existing species from other maps being moved to some of the older maps. So, for example, we have Blacktail Deer on Silver Ridge Peaks, the Greater Kudu, which is a brand new species being added to Verhonga Savannah, we got turkeys coming to Leighton Lakes. We have pheasant coming to Hirschfelden and Quattro Colinas. Uh, Medved will be getting the gray wolf and the Capricali. Mississippi will get green winged teal. Rancho will be getting the pronghorn. Atiaroa will be getting the mallard. Yukon will be getting the Canada goose. Parquet will be getting the collared peccary. And I believe that is all. There is nothing new coming to Finland as that map is pretty new and also has a ton of species already. But every other map is going to be getting something new. They also mentioned that we are going to be getting a complete rework to the models of Moose, Whitetail, and Red Fox, and I believe he said that there might be others, I don't know for sure, but that's just what I remember being said in the live stream. There's also going to be some changes to some of the existing drink times of animals. For example, Mountain Lions will be getting a drink time change so that they're not overlapping the Black Bear anymore, which is going to make the Black Bear grind a lot more enjoyable. Now we get to something that people have been asking for well, for the last year or so, probably even more than that, it's finally happening, guys. We are finally getting a Moose Great One. Now, this is not my number one most wanted Great One in the game, but for a lot of people, it is the number one most requested Great One. And we're finally going to get it. And Jaxie Beard has said that we are going to be getting five different fur types for it, as well as so many other things to make this thing unique. And it's going to be so exciting to go for. Now, this will include a population reset to the moose. So that is something to keep in mind of. There's also going to be population resets to the mouflon. And I believe he said mountain lions as well. Could be wrong there. But those are going to be the only population resets. The majority of things will not be getting reset, just moose. 
um, Mountain Lion and Mouflon from what I can remember. And now we get to the final thing that is going to be coming with this update that they have announced. And it's probably my favorite feature out of everything. We are finally getting a weapon skin system in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And it looks like we're going to be getting them free for every single map that we own. So what they said is that for every single map that you own, you are going to be getting two weapon skins that come with them. So it seems like maybe the skins are going to come with the maps. Uh, he said that it's going to be two for Leighton, two for Hirschfelden, and then two for all of the other maps in the game. So I'm going to assume that depending on how many maps you own, that will depend on which skins you end up seeing, but it looks like we're going to get a lot of cool uh, weapon skins coming with the game. And the brand new weapon skin feature, it looks pretty insane. We're going to have multiple different regions we can put these, uh, these skins on, so you could mix and match multiple skins from what I can tell. It looks like it's going to be a really awesome system, and I am incredibly excited for this. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments right now what your favorite of these features is going to be. Because there is just so much different stuff that we're going to be getting all in one update to the point where this map is not even the star of the show. And if you ask me, I imagine that the map was done like this so they could provide us with all of this free content as well. Because did I mention that all this is going to be free for the most part? All of the revamps to animals are going to be free. Animals added to old reserves is going to be free as well. There is going to be some free skins as well as skins with the DLC maps. So it's looking like a lot of this update is going to be free content. The map will be a paid map as well, but it's going to not really be the star of the show in my opinion. It's going to be one of those maps where it's like, if you like it, then you get it. If not, then there's so much other stuff in this update to go for that it really doesn't matter too much. And if you ask me, I'm not super excited about the map, but it does look like it might be fun to hunt and maybe it'll be the place that I go for the Moose Great one whenever this update comes out. I'm excited regardless. This is by far the biggest update Call of the Wild has got in such a long time and man, I am just so incredibly excited. But yeah, I will see you all in the next video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel as we are attempting to reach 75k by the end of the year and we are incredibly close. Uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!